And how do you see the aging field growing and the, what, uh, what do you see uh, is the future of uh, aging research? Is it more uh, um, the work that you, you're doing, like uh, gene therapy, or is it uh, more like classic uh, genetics? Is it more uh, looking at a uh, small molecule like uh, rapamycin and, and other? So I think aging research has progressed tremendously uh, recently, along with many other fields of biology and medicine. Partly because we, we're in the times of uh, where the, we're getting the payoff of the exponential improvement in reading and writing DNA and a, a number of related things that you can make. If you can read and write DNA, that you can make these other te- adjacent technologies. And that's all spilling over into aging research. And so it's come from a very kind of sketchy background, you know, where people were, it was a lot of wishful thinking, uh, hyperbole, uh, where people would hope that you could just change you know, your diet a little bit, you know, or the fountain of youth, you change your water source. And I think that was naive. I think now we have very sophisticated understanding of what's sometimes referred to as nine different pathways, major pathways. We have a lot of the molecules in those pathways well-defined. I think we may have to get all nine of them at once to really, because it's otherwise, if you fix eight of them, then the ninth one will kill you. And fixing them all at once means a combination therapy. So again, having one drug is not that going to to do it but combination therapy is not a not a completely foreign thought you know there might be five drugs that you might use in an antiretroviral therapy hiv there might be three or four that you use in a in a cancer chemotherapeutic setting etc cetera, etc cetera. so so i think it's going to be combination therapy as we're going to knock out all the pathways at once it might have to be a little little bit personalized I mean, it has advantages generic and then it hits multiple diseases and multiple people, but there might be some personalization that's required as well. If it's truly generic, then it will be inexpensive, just like the vaccines are. Uh, you know, I hope we get aging reversal gene therapies down to $2 a dose the way that the vaccines are. But in any case, I think we can make it something that's equitably distributed.